So two papers here. Oh, first things first. September 3rd, 2018 marks seven years of this discovery. I didn't make an anniversary video. I guess this one will, uh, will suffice. Phase curves. This is probably going to be where I put a lot of my energy into now, this paper right here. I explain a lot in it, but basically what happens is, is you can tell how evolved a star is on this diagram by looking at a phase curve. So on here I have A is ocean world, and B is an ocean world. You'll, you'll see it. You'll, I'll put it up on the bottom of this uh, video. But they're at the same stage of evolution. And they're also very, very different in age. So same stage of evolution, one's a lot older than the other. It's because one of the, one of the objects evolved a lot quicker because of mass loss and other, other uh, issues. And the phase, uh, the phase curves flatten out as you move towards the nearest dead portion of this uh, diagram. Baz, if you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to make another uh, adjustment or make this look pretty, you know, that's all you. I'm, you don't have to do it. This is just a representative thing to get my mind thinking clearly. Oh, uh, I forgot the the whole thing about the anniversary video. I want every year around around September third, around this time, I want to make a give the audience a big lesson of what I learned. And I think the big lesson for 2018 is if you want to make something exist, make it exist. Write it down. Put it somewhere. Make it physical. Make the idea come alive. Don't be afraid of people ridiculing you and telling you that you're dumb or you're a pseudoscientist or that's already been thought of before. Because you never really know. You never really know what you have to offer the world. So if you have something different, or you're scared of putting it out there, don't worry about it. As long as it's, you know, you. Make it exist. Just like cave paintings of early humans, you know? You think they're like, oh my god, my friends are going to think I'm stupid because I'm drawing my hand with a bunch of red ink on the wall. Or I'm drawing pictures of the animals I see. If it wasn't for that person, man or woman, that had enough, you know, creative aspect to them to put those pictures on the wall, nobody would know that we were even there. The fact that they put the, those pictures on the wall shows us that they were there and shows us that they were intelligent people. Um, and that's the whole, that's the whole point for the whole lesson for 2018 is if you want to do something, make it exist. Just do it. Don't, 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 don't second guess yourself. Because no matter, no matter what you do, no matter how great of an idea it is, it's, you're always going to find enough people out there to criticize you and ridicule you. They're, they're, in, uh, they're not in short supply. The ridiculers and name callers and critics, they're always going to be there. It's a natural, it's a natural thing. Um, phase curves, that's one of my new favorite papers because I'm going to refer a lot to that paper over time. And this is for you, Baz, if you want to make a new video, uh, excluding the asteroid number. The Elysium transition. This paper right here, of course, this is also linked to the bottom of this video. The Elysium transition is going to be kind of a transitional time when the ocean world, is thick water ocean world, starts evaporating and the highest portions of the inner crust or inner land uh, area of the of of the ocean world starts peeking out through the waves, through the water, and then boom, that's when it all starts. That's when life can start crawling on top of land. That's when algae can grow on top of that rock that's completely isolated by a huge ocean world. And then as the water evaporates away, the land continues growing and growing and growing and creating what I would refer to as paradise in outer space. Because an ocean world by itself isn't paradise. There's no land. You have to have land for it to be paradise. When you think a beach or an island or, you know, something that we can walk on top of to enjoy, it wouldn't be very enjoyable hanging out in water all the time as far as the eye can see. That, that would, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be very fun. It would it'd be kind of like a, a backwards prison. Um, 
Anyways, uh, yeah, the Elysium transition. Of course, uh, this is coupled with uh, the phase curves. I did this paper before the phase curve paper, so they're straight lines. Ignore that. I have to fix this. But the curves actually go, you know, which way do they go? Oh yeah, up, down to the, uh, down into the uh, left. So yeah, I have to fix that. Um, these things, mean, mean like, uh, like picturing a water world, and then the land start starts, land starts forming, or the highest volcano starts spewing out land. We have uh, videos of this happening, of volcanoes making new land. You know in the middle of the ocean, or in the middle of a large body of water, it doesn't have to be the ocean. Um, yeah, these, uh, these ideas are, are quite new. I've also looked up phase curves in astronomy, as the dogma has it. They're full of shit, don't, don't look at that stuff. I mean, you can look at it, but phase curves, the actual phase curves that I'm thinking of, are being able to determine how evolved a star is. Their face curves are like, just, ugh. Alright, later y'all.